first of all, I am not a manager. I am a, an agent. Yeah. I'm a senior agent. The deal is that you are not able to go on an American Airlines flight. For uh, what reason? You had some issues before. It seems like it. Well, the one the one time I didn't have a mask for medical reasons. I have a medical reason to not wear okay. a mask. Listen to me. I'm, they, t- I'm telling you. The 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 uh, captain whatever. Okay. Called and. They said it was whatever, okay, and then whatever, I got a then I got a phone call saying that they were no longer going to let medical exemption. So I'm going to call a manager. So I'll be wearing my mask, okay? But you're going to be explaining the same the same reason why you are not able to travel. Oh, that's it. That's what happens. We've seen it here a lot, and I've said before, not that I'm working for TSA or anything, but like the airport does not play around. They're like, nope, you cause a ruckus once and you're done. You're done here. It's a privilege to fly through the air. It really is. That's why you gotta pay so much freaking money for it. And she was like ready. She was like, "Mm -mm, I don't wanna hear your story. (laughs) She's like, I don't care what happened. I'm just telling you, you're not allowed on. Supposed to be on a flight to Memphis. Oh my God. Our connection was delayed. We're at L24. Can you please open the gate? Girl, she is on the mic right now. This is like public freakout level. <laughs> Facts. The gate was closed when I got here. Oh my gosh, they're not gonna open the gate back up for you. And if they are, it's not because of acting like that. (laughs) Like, what the heck? They'll get you on the next flight. If you had a connecting flight and it made you miss your next flight, they're not gonna make you pay. Sorry, you'll have to wait. I know it sucks. It's terrible. It's so annoying. But like, at least you're gonna get there. What in the world? People are crazy. What she said is so true. She's like, this is public freakout level. I'm like, facts. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, just go right through it. Nice. Wow, okay, cool. Just destroying the airport for reasons. I don't know. The reason being, this person's a Karen. That's the only reason that you need. It doesn't justify the behavior though. I wonder, like, who hurt you, sir? Who hurt you? Wow, this just gives me a headache. Everyone's tired. I, oh, everyone hates the rush when the plane lands. As soon as it lands, people are like, woo, cell phone on, getting up, getting their bags. It's like, chill out, sit there. You know, you're gonna get out sooner or later. Just chill, just chill or else this happens. And then it's just a big headache for everyone. This nurse, she's got a big surgery. So this dude needs to calm down. He's probably pushing his way out to get out first. Oh my god, oh my god. The most annoying person I've ever heard in my life. Ugh, give me a break. Like you're on a plane. This is not the time to fight for justice. Like go away, go home. You know where you can not wear a mask? At home, stay there. Do us all a favor, <laughs> ew. I don't, it's just so simple. It's the, like quite, guys, I don't even know anymore. And ladies and gentlemen, from the front office, Captain speaking. Uh, Good evening. I just showed up here to bring you guys to Houston and uh, was made aware of the situation in the back. Unfortunately, at this point, we're going to have to deplane the aircraft. Uh, We've got some uh, individuals on board who are not following the FAA. We gotta go! That's 
Oh, oh, we gotta go, go there. Fuck yourself. Put your fucking mask on. I'm like, I'm so entitled. I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm so good. Everyone was being really nice to that lady who kept talking until they found out. <laughs> Cause deboarding the plane, like, I don't know if this is the same everywhere, but one time when we had to get off the plane, like they have to get a new crew to come in. Like that delays your flight for hours, for hours. Like it's so inconvenient. That is so annoying. <laughs> oh my God, I would have been pissed at that lady. <laughs> Oh, we are about it. And this is a there's a whole mess going on here, guys. There is multiple different characters involved here. A new character just entered. Oh my goodness. Your poor vocal cords. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This was insanity. That was just, that was like, I, like, I don't even know how to even like to tackle this. There's so much to unpack in this just nonsensical craziness that is this airport. Like, holy mother of God. These people actually went animal kingdom right now. Like, we, we straight up went back to our, our ancestors. We went animalistic with it. My goodness gracious. Simmer down. Everyone, everyone involved here, just take it down a notch. Oh, a little bit of a, what are these? You can't hear what they're saying, but you see the body language is not going very well right now. Oh, and here it comes. We're taking the clothes off again, people. We're taking off the clothes. Wow, that is a big cowboy hat. Why do you keep throwing your hands, like, just get your hand out of my face, dude. Like, I would hate that. You know, it's like we're having an argument right now, and you feel the need to just, like, do one of these. Like, no, 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 no. We're talking with our words. We're not, you know, doing whatever it is that you're doing. And keep your clothes on, please. I'm not trying to fight you here. <laughs> anyone's getting in trouble or anything and it just looks like everyone's having a good time I mean I love to sleep on planes so I think that that would be annoying for me because I would obviously not be able to sleep through that but uh I mean hey better than a Karen yelling about anything this seems pretty nice actually <laughs> I'll take this flight Is this that like um, flight of like influencers or whatever who all got um, in trouble for not wearing masks and then they're all getting fined now and then the guy and they got left in like Mexico or something because they did this and then the guy who organized it was like that's unacceptable and I'm like what did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> She's drunk. No, I'm not gonna go. You wanna drag me by the feet like you guys did the Asian people? Oh. No. I was gonna say I yes, drag her by the feet. Oh. I just wanna go to Cleveland, that's it. So don't discriminate against me or anything like that. Okay, lady, uh, like I was saying, she sounds a little tipsy. I'm gonna make an international problem. I don't know why she was doing little jazz hands there. 
I have said this before in other videos, uh, well not on this channel, but um, never make a big situation in an airport or on an airplane. That's like the one place that you don't do it because then you're banned, okay? You're on a no fly list, so she's banned for sure. She didn't get to go to Cleveland. These people who let their kids plaster the walls with stickers and didn't remove them, bad parenting on flights. Yo, I feel for whoever has to clean that up. That sucks, literally. It's like, okay, like you can let your kids do that, but then like an hour before the flight's about to land, all right, we're taking all that stuff off. Because now somebody's gonna have to. Unless, honestly, they just keep it up and they just decide, you know what, the entire airplane, we're just gonna sticker it up. That would be a cool premise, actually. You know, can you imagine just like stickers all over the entire place? Hmm. Everybody's allowed to bring in like one sticker, put it on the wall. That would be cool, actually. All right, business idea. Holy, dude, wow. That is an absolute feast. How are they allowed to bring that on? Like, how are they actually allowed to walk through customs with an entire, is that chicken? What is that? I think that's a lobster. You're kidding. Wow, okay guys, I thought for a second it was like a bunch of chicken wings, which is bad enough, but lobster, like you already know, and like I love lobster, but like that is some smelly food that we got going on right there, and that is just like wafting throughout the airplane, and you got nachos, and you got Cheez-Its, and you got like a bunch of, how are you allowed to bring this on? Like th this is, this seems wrong, like I, I didn't realize that we could just do this, we could just bring on like an entire feast for Mandarin or something, like damn dude, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna throw the flight deck just in case my sort of Okay. I don't believe it! Hey, it's for my safety too. Now, when I said behave. Oh, it's an exorcism. It's an exorcism. Oh, Lord! Somebody call a priest! Wow, okay! When I said behave, I meant behave. I did not mean throw an absolute temper tantrum. That that was, ooh, baby. That was something a two-year-old does. Not somebody who's an adult and paid for a plane ticket with their adult money and their adult life. I don't want your stinky feet anymore, yo. That poor girl. That poor girl. Yo, if somebody literally did that to me, dude, like that, I literally, like I take something and just like, boom, like smack their feet right away. Like, I don't care, man. I really do not care. I, my excuse is like, oh, I was being attacked. He was trying to kick me. Like, I don't care, dude. You cannot have your foot right there in between us. Imagine having the audacity to take your shoes off and to stick your foot right in there and, and, is, and not even ironically, like literally doing it just because you think you're entitled to do that. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. That is getting absolutely walloped. So cool, this plane has a sock drying holder. Shut up. I can't really see it. Can we, can we zoom in on the socks? What? Don't. Dude, so this guy is taking his socks, first off, off of his feet. So he's taking his socks off his feet. So his feet right now are completely sockless. And he has taken those and he's kind of stuffed them into the windowsill so that the sun will cut. No, dude. Uh, that's not right. Like, honestly, maybe, uh, I don't even know what is worse. The, the sticking of the foot in somebody else's space or the sock dryer. Like, what is it with the feet, folks? Ooh. That's a looks like a police officer from the desert. Looks like a de like a Nevada, Arizona kind of cop. So I could be wrong. I can't see. Oh my God, woman, get off the plane! Are you serious? We don't have time. Oh, get off the plane! Please listen to the flight. No, we've been already on the plane for like an hour. And the short sleeves too, man. Could be, could be something there. Damn. Are you? Made the plane. To, that's that's. Oh. You suck! It's a f it's a f bar, baby! It's a I'm gonna hope that's it's it's not uh, it's not one of those situations where uh, the whole pl the flight gets canceled. Getting on and off does suck. It's a process. It does suck. Uh, but getting on and off for everyone's safety, and then getting back on while the uh, bad guy, the Karen, I don't know, I was gonna come up with a fancy word there, but I didn't. Uh, when Karen gets off the plane, is, is a much better situation. Uh, Katie here says the last time I was on a plane, this lady asked me if my dad was dead because she was training to be a medium and thought she felt it. Uh, 
okay, so that's just, a, I think that's a weird human being. You know, that's just like a, like I don't know if that's plain exclusive. Like I would imagine that this medium probably does stuff like this on the bus and, and wherever else, which is just as weird, you know. Um, I hope that, I, like was her dad dead? <laughs> like imagine she was like, he actually was. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I hope that he was not dead and he's very much alive. Anna, and maybe my girl needs to do a bit more training. Just throwing it up there. Um, smelly, sh smelly shoes, smelly shoes. Did he pass out a mask for everyone? Huh, who is supposed to sit there? Like, like, isn't that supposed to be a seat for somebody else? Like, aren't, isn't his shoes, maybe he bought, maybe he bought both seats just so he could do that. Which is kind, which is fully ridiculous actually. I was gonna say kind of ridiculous, it's not kind of ridiculous. It is fully ridiculous if that's what actually happened. But that's actually almost better than the alternative, which is he didn't buy that seat and he's just putting his shoes on someone else's seat, which is worse. Like there is no good answers here. Maybe we should, uh take down 62 year old women who are our fathers fought in a war uh -huh. that was unjust name the war by Jews well okay second one who uh, oh, I need to do that okay. rose pipe let's go come on yeah. yes come on I think I think Marie's had a few uh she had a few drinks there. Well, maybe you should taserize me like you Taserize me? To. You don't need well, that. Just, not, just walk yeah. off. I, I'm going to use that from now on. That's funny. Come up to the front yeah, I need to we'll go talk. on my holiday. Maybe you should taserize me. Oh, baby. That's... You, 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 you know, Marie? I think you've had a few drinks. I don't think taserizing you would be the appropriate thing to do. I don't think that's the right thing. I think maybe you just need to sit down and relax, have some water, or uh, you're going to have to leave the airplane. But taserize? That's... Man, that's kind of funny. That's pretty good. I'm going to tell Adam that. He's going to think that's funny. That's really funny, man. Uh, I booked my flight online and chose the vegetarian oriental meal. This is what I got. Let's zoom in right there. Um, so what, what is that? Just carrots? Is that just a bunch of carrots and peppers? Carrots, peppers, and, and am I, am I right here, Chris? Is it celery in there as well? Some carrots, pepper, and celery? Okay. Um, that's not that good. <laughs> like, I mean, like, I don't know, I'll be honest, I don't know what they expected because airplane food, like, even if it wasn't the vegetarian option, like, I guarantee it would have been like that, but like, one piece of, like, bad raw fish on it, so, I, like, I, I feel like it's just airplane food in general, but, I don't know. What are we doing here? Is that like a person's just crap all over the place? Like, we just threw our crap everywhere? What is that blue thing? Like, it looks like a freaking transformer, dude. Wow, okay, okay, uh, now I see what you're saying. Whoa. Okay, so that's bad, and somebody took all their crap and threw it on someone's seat. And even if you were sitting in that seat, that is a lot of crap. Like, how can you, literally, like, the longest flight is like 12, 16 hours or something like that. How could you possibly have enough time to make that mess, you know? Like, like imagine this person's room, if that is what they did in that period of time. Imagine their room. Oh my God, it, it, it honestly deserves to be on a reality TV show episode, I bet. Who's asking for you guys to be I didn't do anything wrong, I was standing. Is it, what's it? I was in I the was bathroom. They were, there, like they were both in the bathroom. They were both in the bathroom, I was standing in my jacket up. Really we're all irritable. We've been sitting here for two hours. I know. I know. Like, like, I know. Um, and we, and we all want to get to New York. He said he cannot move until you sit. I go, we have two people in the bathroom. They are both in the bathroom. Right. So why am I getting off? He asked you. He also said, would you like to get off? And she said, yeah. I was obviously being sarcastic. They just harass you. Are you kidding? They harass you. They think they upset as much as we upset. We've been here for three hours. I know. What is going on? If it is mid-flight, it's probably not, but if it was mid-flight, they're like, oh, you wanna go? And then they just like open the little hatch and throw her out, little parachute. Uh, clearly, they're not doing that. It, does that mean that they were at the airport waiting for takeoff for three hours? Because the dude was like, we've been here for three hours. Is because this Karen wouldn't sit down in her seat? That seems extreme. I don't think that's the case. But if it was, why didn't you kick her out faster? You won't believe what happened on my flight to LA. You're talking to me like that. Take me off. I don't give a f I didn't even want to go to Cali. I didn't even want to go to Cali. I didn't even want to go to Cali. What the f 
you talking to? I will find your name, name, of birth, and address. I will know your social security number before I get off this plane. On my daughter, on that same baby that you see me on the, on the phone with. What? What? So what the f Yo, yo, cuz, what the f out? What the f What's the plan? What they gonna do to you before I What's the law gonna do? Yo, mind your business. Mind your business. Because I will break your neck. Yo, I'm, let me just explain something. Man. <laughs> Maybe he didn't want to go to Cali, but he found a very quick way to never go anywhere on a plane ever again. <laughs> like what in the world? First of all, causing a ruckus and like just screaming, but then pushing people over, threatening people, like <laughs> what in the world? You're insane. Also, if you didn't want to go to Cali, why were you on the plane? I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted because that's going to be the last one for a while, I think. And we see you without your face covering. I know it's a 46 minute flight, y'all look tired. We already established that. So you might fall asleep. If that face covering is not on your face properly, I will wake you up and I do not care, okay? I will be annoying. We don't have to be annoying, but I will be. So I already see some noses right now. And we got COVID tests on board. We will swab you. Okay, it's gonna be free. We gonna give you your... Oh my gosh. I honestly kind of love that though, like to be honest, cause hey, be upfront with the expectations. She told you, it's clear, it's clear as day. So if you don't wanna adhere by the rules, then listen, we told you what they were. I don't know what you want me to do about them. Sit down, sit down. Sit down now. I love accents. There's my bag right there. <laughs> I love Maybe it's bad to say, but I love confrontations with people with like, like not me getting into them, but I love just people fighting with British accents because it's like, it just sounds so good. Like, sit down, sit down. Airplane hasn't properly landed yet. Where's your bag? We'll get it for you. Don't worry. It just, it sounds so good and it's like funny. I wonder if people say that about Canadian accents too. They're like, I just love listening to Canadians talk, eh? Uh. <laughs> Cause you're not wearing a mask, probably. For what? Guys, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, well then you can tell me why in front of everyone right now because I haven't done anything. All I did was follow. Tell me why. No. No. You can tell me why now. I'm gonna call my father. Hello, are you there? <laughs> I'm gonna call my father. Hello, are you there? Daddy? Yeah, I fell asleep and now they're trying to kick me out. Let's get the lawyers. I don't know what's going on here at all. And again, she sounds a little intoxicated. It's a little fluffy. Okay. Why we, we missed the flight? Because the family the gave the tickets to the family. No, no, I know. I can what, understand that, but we, you know, we gave, they we gave things to the family. For where, who? Which family? Look at this. I assigned your seat a long time ago. Look at your what seat. What do you mean, long time ago? When yeah. I went and on the line. I paid you and I paid your name and you were not here. So wait, I. Wait, 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 man, man. You have a, you have man, we came one for one meeting. Oh, we're I'm sitting really here for three calm. hours. I'm really calm. I'm yes. I don't like. Man. Look. So, what do you, so mean? you gave our tickets and you took that. Well, yeah, we are sitting here for three up. hours, man. We are sitting here for three hours. Well, he pays you. What, is, what do you want us to push? I was on the line after the girls. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, guys. Well, if you're sitting there for three hours, clearly you were very unaware because this guy was like, I guess, calling your name like countless times, being like, hey, like come over here, like it's time to get on your ticket. Now, I, I don't know if it's like totally cool that he gave their tickets away, but I guess if, like, they, if they weren't showing up, like, I mean, what, what are you gonna do about that? Like, somebody needs to go to this place, like, might as well, like, they're here right now. So, I don't know, guys, like, maybe pay more, a little bit more attention if you're, like, waiting to get on a flight. Just my opinion. Any of you guys on this plane a military guy? Because uh -huh. this guy's with me. And I'm oh, army guy. boy. Any of you guys, no, let go of my arm. Oh, he's grabbing him. Any you guys on this plane a military guy? Because this guy's it was me. What's he doing though? You're back. None of you guys are military guys. 
What is he doing though? I, I want to know what he's doing. <laughs> this guy's just going on, but it's like he never said like he's, he's just messing with you. But like how? You know how? Like he's, he's just sitting there. Because I could totally see this guy being the camera right now. But at the same point, I don't know what he's done. You know, like maybe if this guy's like totally screwing with me like consistently, I could see myself getting in that place. But like we got to know like what is going on in those two seats right there, you know? Wow. This person's intoxicated too. Wow. Okay then. What do you say? His parents were worth two billion dollars or something like that? Who are your parents, sir? And are you single? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I need money. What's the, this video should have been like entitled rich people or something like that. Cause here's another guy with money that's like, shut up. I'm gonna go play lacrosse now. I'm just gonna play polo with my horses. Delta has guidelines and I don't have to explain to you. You can take it off or you can leave the airport. It is inappropriate and not gonna take vulgar language on the phone. Okay. Verbal or written. Oh, okay. what does he got? What does you he understand? wear? Do you understand the two options? Yeah, I heard you say. No, no, do you understand it? I said I heard you. Do you understand it? Y'all hear this? Do you understand what two options are? I'm not going to ruin your birthday. Off, I'm not going to ruin your birthday. Then you point and don't point your finger. Or you leave. Don't point your finger. So I guess she was wearing something that had vulgar language on it. I don't know if it was a, cause he said for her to take it off. So I don't know if it was a hat or maybe it was on her mask or on a shirt. I didn't think that was a, a rule for flight attendants or is this guy the pilot? I don't know, to be like, oh, you gotta change your shirt. It has a swear word on it. I've never heard of that before. Like in schools, yes. In a professional setting, yes. But if you're just going on vacay, I don't know why that would really upset people unless it was like something racist, you know? I don't know what's going on here. As per all these videos, I just never know what's going on, okay? Just what in the world? Down. You started running Where's your mouth when I was on my god phone. I did not mother talk to you, did I? Did I? Did I? I don't give a about your god baby ass What in the world? Where's my phone? Well, we're going to find it because I'm going to we're looking at her gate right now. <laughs> We're looking at her gate right now. <laughs> like, settle down, people. Settle down. Again, I don't know how this fight started. He was on her. He was on his phone. The woman maybe was like, "Is that on airplane mode?" <laughs> I don't want you to crash the plane. I don't know. I'm just making it up. I like to make it up. It makes me laugh. USA. 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 This is the way it's gonna be. Four and a half hour flight up to Phoenix. We'll pump, put this plane down in the middle of Kansas and dump people wow. off. I don't care. That's, we will do that if that's what it takes. Wow. So, behave, please. Behave, yeah. No, no, behave. Wow. That's it. That's all there's to it. Behave. You can scream, USA, USA, all you want, baby. All you want. I don't know what the context is. I don't know what they're talking about or why they're mad. But yeah, ba that is, man, that's key. Someone should put that, make that rule number one or two. Rule number two, besides, like, make sure you, make sure you wipe your bum after you go to the washroom. And anyway, wash your hands. That's like, that's like number one. I think that's your rule number one in life everywhere. Rule number two, behave. Behave yourself. Especially in public on planes, man. Come on, dude. Come take what was supposed to be a non-stop flight from DC to non -stop. LA with me. Okay. He was drunk already getting yeah, on the plane and then was cut off beverage service after he was making his female seat mate uncomfortable right. and she yeah, asked to move seats. Horseshoe. Now he is starting shit with the air marshal. We had to emergency land in Oklahoma City. Well, so much for non-stop. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I get it. Have a drink before the flight. Calm those nerves right down. I'd probably have one too. I've never even been on an airplane, so I might. Uh, I, you might see Chetty mosey on over to the bar and just sit down and grovel in a nice glass of whiskey. No junk in it. I, you can't get that drunk. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta control yourself. Have a few drinks. Go pee first. 
because the bathroom, there's only, there's only one, one bathroom on the plane. That's kind of weird, there's only one bathroom. Or is there more bathrooms now? But yeah, just don't get the, don't get, don't get, don't get a lot inebriated. What is that? Is she nail file or oh, her toes? I think that's a nail file on her toes. That's what we're doing here, eh? Wow. Wow, okay, I, I don't, I really don't understand. Like, what, what is it about an airplane? Maybe it's the fact that like, like you're there for that long, so people think that it's like, it's like their own personal, like private space, but it's not, you know? It's like, it, it really isn't. And like, I wouldn't do that on a bus. I wouldn't do that in the office. I wouldn't do that in a public, in another public space, in a food court. Why would you do it in an airport? Maybe she would do it in all those places, which is just as ridiculous. But like, no, just no. At this point, uh, I have to ask everyone to leave the airplane. Oh my God! Take your ID and your boarding passes. Uh, you can leave your personal belongings if you're going to reboard. Please do not get involved in the altercation or you will not reboard. And Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good day. 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 Wait, what's the, like, I, there's, okay. There's heroes in life. You got firefighters. You got war veterans. You remember them, you love them. They're your moms, your dads, your fathers, your uncles, your aunts, your brothers, your sisters. There's heroes. And they were remembered for a long, they will be remembered for a long time, and they should be. All kinds of people like that. So you got all these people up here on this pedestal, and then you got Karen fighting on an airplane. Karen, do you really think you're gonna be with these guys? You're not. You're not gonna be remembered for that. You're just not. No one's going to remember the trip to Cancun that got canceled on April 7th, 2019, when you said, no, I will not wear a mask. I will not do this. I will not comply. No one's gonna remember you for that. So I don't, like I, there's, there's no angle where you come out of this on top, Chief. Um, passenger sharing. Seriously, is that a diaper? Is that a diaper? Did we take a diaper off? and we put that diaper into the sink? You're kidding. Like, no, just like, no. There's obviously a trash can right next to this thing. Like, wh why is it in the sink? That is your responsibility. It's not the baby's responsibility. The baby's just here to crap their pants. You, as an adult, whomstever owns this child and this diaper, need to take that and put that in a disposable bin, not in the goddamn sink. Yo, this reminds me, and I, I don't know if it's gonna be on here or not, but like the one clip, do you remember the one clip, Chris, of the steak being made on the toilet? Yeah, that one stuck out to me. That was like months ago we saw that thing and I still have nightmares about that clip. Somebody literally made a steak on the toilet of a freaking airplane. It, like this, this is just as bad. Putting a diaper in the freaking sink, wow. I'm being picked up on flight because I'm questioning why I'm not sitting in the, the, the actual that I paid for? Yeah, no, I'm asking you. Yeah, I need oh, yeah, get louder. I paid, I actually paid. Get louder. It's kind of hard to hear. No, 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 no. I'm only asking you. No, 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 no. No. Okay. That's fine. Um, looks like the plane might be heading back there. I'm not sure. Yeah, you should be able to sit in the seat you paid for, but uh, as we all know, airlines, sometimes things change, baby. It happens. Stuff happens. I you you shouldn't be. I've never even been on an airplane. I know that. That's show business, baby. It's how it goes. What are we doing? Is he? So I think he's trying to take off his sweater. What even is that, dude? I think he's trying to take off his sweater. Like it's got to be right. Like his. Okay. Honestly, I don't think. I don't even think this is a Karen at all. I think my guy just got caught in the worst possible moment trying to take off his sweater and and it's just like it looks really weird but he's not actually doing anything bad to anyone uh, it, uh, like if that is what this is if this is something else like some weird thing that i don't maybe some weird sex thing like i don't even know but like i think that's what it is i benefit of the doubt here my guy was just really hot and we caught him at a weird time <laughs> Whoa! Complete energy change. Wow. Okay. Finishing him with a banger. Uh, viewers, I'm sorry about your ears.
Don't we? Squealing, dude. Oh! Attention all passengers, this is your stewardess speaking. Please do not pay attention to the screaming lady in seats DCA. Like, I don't, what, like, what do you, last one we were getting taserized, but it was so chill, so calm, and we went right into the screaming. We was right into it. I, it actually kind of scared me a little bit. I don't even know what she's saying. She's just like going on about something right now. Get back in the seat. Get back in the seat. Why, lady? Why? Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, sit down. Holy moly. Like she was like, that was so much. Like this is the, we're literally like in an airplane right now. Like why why do we need to do this? I don't know why it's like there's just certain locations where people just absolutely lose it. Airplanes are clearly one of them. Like we gotta simmer down on an airplane, guys. Okay, be pretty calm right now. Oh, but there goes the bag. There goes the bag. Take me to jail, dude. Please. Take me yeah, to jail? Obviously, no. You're not no, because I can't get on my plane, right? Why? Why do you want to go to jail? I couldn't get on my plane, but it was too inebriated. But yeah, I can see him like space. Hey, space. What is he going on about? Spin it at me, right now. Right now. Let's go. dude. Yo, but like this, like this guy doesn't even make any sense, man. Like everyone's like, what do we even do about this guy? Like, do I take him to jail? Like, how do I even address? I get, I guess you do, but it's like, what do you like at the end of the day? Like, hey, what has he done wrong here? It's just like asking him to go to jail and just like causing a disturbance. Like, I don't even know what to say about this one, man. Like, this guy's motives are like very questionable here. I didn't say I was drunk. You're saying I, I can smell I had one drink. Okay. Sir, you okay. admitted to being drunk. Admitted to being drunk. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Okay, sue them then. I know you're well within our rights. I know you're well within our rights. I'm not an inebriated. I'm not an inebriated. You have no right to do it. I am going to sue you for your rights if you don't want me on the right. He's literally like, I'm not inebriated. I have one drink. I told you I have more who is lying. I'm just a little jokester. And then he's gonna sue them. Go ahead, sue them, sir, sue them. Clearly he's got money. But also, just because you have money doesn't mean you need to have a bunch of lawsuits and sue people. Yes, I can. Clearly, I just did! Loser! Whoa. Settle down there, bud. Clearly, you have no authority! You special attacking me, you need to this motherfucker! He's okay. You don't have your job. Why did he? Five minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, everyone's clapping. I started that. <laughs> Just kidding. What was on his head? That's the thing I was looking at. I don't know what was on his head. It was like a red button. Maybe one of those staples. That was easy. Button. I don't know. Oh, oh, there it goes. You're not getting on a plane anymore, man. You are no longer getting on a plane. Oh, the, sh oh, the shirt's coming off. We're pulling a pull on, uh, we're, we're doing a pull on a uh, uh, trailer park boys right here. We're about to throw hands. Is that what's going on here? Why is the shirt off, though? Hey, hey, hello, hi, how are you? Not great if you're this guy. Like, I've never really understood why people feel the need, like, if they're trying to, like, fight someone to take their shirts off, like, I... I, I just don't understand, you know, it's like, like in the heat of the moment, your first literally, like, the, the first thing that comes to mind is I'm gonna take off my clothes and then I'm gonna fight you. Like, what? What is going on here? Oh, I've seen this one before, guys. I've seen this one. Wow. It's just so much. Two thousand. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh my god. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of money, guys. $2,000 is a lot of money. But maybe don't show up to the airport acting like this, and then you'll get to use your $2,000 to go to wherever it was that you were trying to go. But because you've gone and done this, you're never gonna get there, man. Doesn't matter how much you pay. Well, maybe there is a number, actually. But two grand, probably not the number. Okay, no, let's you and I do Everybody this, okay? Help. We'll be like adults, okay, you and I. Oh, by the way, here I am, fully complying with bare wolves from the moment I sat down. And all we want to do is hear you tell us that you will be fully compliant on your return trip. You realize that you are wearing a surgical mask. It, and I am wearing a full closed these valve are, respirator. It, it, our rules are you that you wear are one. You are not in compliance that's with a, actual... That's a falsehood, ma'am. Okay, what's your name? It don't much matter, ma'am. No, it does matter. You work for Delta. You just took me off of a flight. Let's call security. Okay, call security. <laughs> Like, I don't know how these people think they're gonna win. It's just the man was being reasonable. He just wanted you to say, I'm not gonna, you know, cause a ruckus on my return flight, but have fun driving home. You can take the Greyhound. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. People, just do the thing. Like, if you wanna fly, you gotta follow the flying rules, okay? I don't wanna take my shoes off either, but I gotta take my shoes off at the airport when you go through security. It sucks. Oh my gosh, I want to know if it's, do you think your foot stinks? <laughs> oh my gosh, I would never, I would never. Just barefoot? I don't think I could. I don't think I could barefoot the airport. Like if I'm wearing, unless I'm wearing sandals, I'm always wearing socks. And I feel like I would not wear sandals to the airport. Even if I was coming or going on a hot vacation, the sandals go in the suitcase. I'm wearing sneakers. You know what I mean? I just could not barefoot the airport. There's something in the airplane. Mm -mm, no way. <laughs> going down the money rabbit hole again, guys. I couldn't hear exactly. What he, I think we're going. To, I thought I heard mask there. What are we all gonna know, man? Okay, well, that just seemed like I couldn't make out everything he was saying, but it seemed like a lot, everyone. It seemed like a lot, and I feel like we were going down the mask rabbit hole again. I, I've talked about this too much on this channel. You guys know my thoughts. This is too much. It's too much. That's that's my one comment on this clip. Too much. Oh, I think I've seen this one before too. This is this is a classic right here. This is a classic. We're at L24. Bang on glass. Oh, yeah. She is on the mic. Yeah. Banging on the glass, getting on the mic, doing everything we can to piss people off. Oh, going around, yeah. Wow, yeah, just so much. Just like they are trying, clearly they are trying to get somewhere right now. But guys, that's why we arrive on the airport on time. And like the other clip, even if you've been waiting for three hours and you've been here, you gotta pay attention when it's time to get on the airplane. I know tickets cost a lot, but we're not gonna wait on you. That's just the way it goes.